What's up guys, it's Raymond with another video. In this video I wanted to talk about progress, specifically slow and gradual. So I'm sure a lot of people out there have said, I wish I had this power, I wish I could do this, I wish I had this special ability. And I'm I'm, I'm one of the biggest victims. I mean, I'm big on uh, the supernatural, I'm big on uh, Marvel comics, I'm big on DC comics. And I study all of these characters and they have all these crazy powers, like Superman has super strength, he can fly. And I just wish sometimes when I listen to or read some of the comic books, that I wish for a second that I had those powers or one of those powers. And I don't feel it's a bad thing to have an imagination or to wish or to desire to have powers like that. But um, sometimes it can creep into your uh, daily life. For example, when I go to the gym, I wish that the progress um, of reaching my goal of gaining a certain amount of muscle mass uh, was achieved a lot uh, in, a, in a shorter amount of time. For example, I wish whenever I look in the mirror after I've done a workout, I'm, sometimes I'm proud of myself. But sometimes I say to myself, why does it take so long? I wish it took... Uh, less than a tenth of the time to grow such an amount of muscle but I mean I think it's a good thing a blessing for muscle to grow very very slowly because it allows you to not only appreciate the process of gaining that muscle a lot more because and it allows you to um, be more consistent in um, performing a particular task to reach a certain goal because it's not going to be 10 workouts that's going to allow you to gain 10 pounds of muscle if it were like that it would just be as it would be as just as easy to lose those ten pounds of muscle, and that would almost completely take away the gratification that you have for the process of achieving that muscle. So, uh, a sense of gratitude comes from the long term process of achieving a certain goal. It's the same thing with the stock market or investing in general. Investing in the stock market by buying shares, I thought uh, at first would be a lot quicker in terms of generating profit or generating uh, value than it is um, as of now. That's a rookie mistake, of course, but as I um, as time went by and I became more familiar with the stock market and businesses in terms of growth and the fact that the business's value, public value, is completely reliant on the public's perception of the value of the company, um, I, I became more accepting of the fact that I can't control the fact that the value of the company is in the hands of the of the public and in the same way as the gym works and progress to achieving a certain amount of muscle mass um, you have to be patient patience is a virtue as they say so in this video I just really wanted to talk about the importance of the slow and gradual process and monitoring slow and gradual pr process to motivate yourself to achieving a particular goal if a, if a goal is worth it for you worth it enough to stick it through the long run then you'll be perfectly fine performing daily tasks or whichever increment you choose or prevent uh, performing tasks very frequently to be able to achieve those goals I always use the, the example of going to the gym because I'm big on going to the gym whenever I check in the mirror after my workout although my muscles look more defined and larger than when I came into the gym because of the blood that's um, entered the muscles I uh, consider what my muscles will look like after the blood has come out of them um, come out of the muscles but in general the progress um, each and every day is very very tiny it's almost you can't actually see the progress of the muscles because um, the progress depends on um, how many micro tears are in the muscle and if there are micro tears in the muscle your muscle will actually be perceived as smaller after your workout than before the workout it's only after your muscle has healed that your muscle will look larger and even after a week or two weeks or even a month your muscles aren't going to look Belly and you can they're barely going to look any different because micro tears are exactly that they're micro tears which means they're extraordinarily small uh, uh, p uh, damages to the muscle and it takes a certain amount of time for them to grow or to repair and even when they repair the muscle isn't actually going to be that much bigger because it takes a considerable amount of stress on the muscles for the muscles to understand that the muscles need to be bigger um, and how big how much bigger the muscles need to be is determined based on how much stress you put on the muscle of course you don't want to put too much stress on the muscle because you might injure yourself but you get the gist so in this video it's very very short I just wanted to share a concept of uh, the slow and gradual process and my uh, interaction or meeting with the um, with the understanding that slow and gradual process is supremely important you can't really do anything without being patient or you can't reach any short-term or long-term goals without being patient so thank you guys for watching i hope you got some value out of this video i hope i've explained it in depth enough um, if i haven't just let me know and i'll create another video i'll delete this one or i'll keep this one i'll create a part two where i describe this this particular theory or this particular um aspect of life or lesson in a much more succinct manner once i get more understanding of it um thank you for watching subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace